um, since uh, he was obviously investing the resources there instead of putting the TTs out. But he's got a couple of High Templar out. Uh, he's going to have his Archon ready now. And that was the key there, uh, losing that High Templar, just delayed his Archon a little bit, which left him a little bit vulnerable in case uh, Mutalists were on their way. Uh, but we know that Quan Rospar has just finished. He's now got that Evo Chamber up. He's now got his Hydralis producing as well. Um, so, so far, uh, we've seen a little bit of brilliance from Quanro and sniping that High Templar. Um, but other than that, uh, both players seem to be content to just kind of build up, almost macro up, uh, and get ready for the mid-game. Uh, and Stork loses on their course there to some great Scourge micro by Quanro. Quanro now pushing out with a couple of Archons and Zealots. Uh, and Quanro has got Lurkers morphing. He's got a Sunken as well as Zerglings here. And the timing of this is going to be critical, whether those Lurkers morph in time. And Quanro brilliantly sends some Zerglings out to delay Stork and just slow him down a little bit to give himself the time to get those Lurkers in place. And so now he's got those Lurkers in place, and he's just going to be able to block those Zealots. And Stork isn't going to be able to do any damage to so Stork going for kind of a mid-game-ish push here. Timing attack, it seemed to me like, with Zealots and um, Archons. Now he's diverting his attack to the 9 o'clock position. Again, relying on the fact that his opponent has to defend on multiple fronts. But Quanro has got those Lurkers in play cleverly. And he realizes that because of his build, he's going to have a strong economy as long as he can defend and hold it together. And that Stork is the one who's going to have to make the early moves and put the pressure on him. Had his Lurkers in play. So, well played by Quanro. He's defended successfully. And you've got to feel that he's probably had Now, Stork, uh, Quanro once again bring those Zerglings in, trying to get a sneak into Stork's space and try and get some more scanning information. Uh, Stork manages to sort that with the Zalot, and Quanro is actually going to be able to run around here and circle in, and it looked like for a second like he was going to run in, but it looks like he pulled back. Perhaps Stork had another Zalot out to block that, uh, but Quanro will probably feel he's in a decent position. Stork once again moving out with his main force, uh, really needing to inflict some damage on Quanro uh, before Quanro's economy really kicks into gear uh, and he starts mass producing. Um, Quanro is in a very strong position right now. Stork now pushing out with the Zealots, uh, and he's going to have a couple of Zealots trapped uh, by the Zerglings and intercept and taken out. Meanwhile, Mutalis popping out for Quanro, uh, and he's hiding, hiding those Mutalis in his main. He's not revealing them to Stork, uh, and and it looks like he, he was initially going Lurkers and Hydralis, and he's now made the text with Mutalis. He produced a group of Mutalis, and Stork, with the force primarily of Zealots, uh, will find himself... Uh, a little bit difficult to defend against. He's a, he does have a couple of Archons. I'm not sure if he has any Archons in his main, though. He does have some Photon Cannons, however. But if Quanro gets there with his Mutalist, Stork has got the Robotics Facility down as well now. Now he's trying to take, take the 3 o'clock expansion, realizing that he cannot continue playing on this on an economy this size, and he's going to rely on his main force to keep Quanro contained. Quanro is indeed going to catch Stork by surprise here. Stork not anticipating this, uh, and Quanro straight away in Stork's main. One Photon Cannon already down. Stork in trouble. Uh, he's going to be forced to bring, those, bring his forces back, uh, and he's got a long distance to travel before he gets there with those Archons. He's He's lost two, three photon cans already. The fourth photon can so lost all the photon cans in his main, as well as a couple of probes. Uh, Quanro inflicting significant damage on Stork. Stork going for the counter with the Zealots, realizing that Quanro's mutilus are away. Um, one shot from an Archon does take a damaged Mutalist out. Uh, Quanro moving some Hydralis towards his natural expo now. Uh, and Stork going in with a massive group of Zealots. He's also got an Observer there. Um, but he really needs to do something here. Uh, those Zealots, I don't think they're really going to be able to do much, even with that Observer in play, because there are a lot of Lurkers in Quanro's defense. And now he's got Hydralis out as well to stand in front of those Lurkers. Quanro pushing out. He's going to be forced to pull back and just burrow in front of those Sunkens. But that's a very narrow pathway. And even if you've got Observer, it's going to be very difficult. And now those Mutalists are coming in. And those uh, Zealots are completely unprotected. They've got no anti air with them at all and they're just cannon fodder for those mutalists they're just getting sniped and taken out uh, and this is horrible for Stork he's seeing a lot of damage now he's going to pull those Archons around uh, but the Archons are going to uh, be distracted by the Hydralis while Quanro makes his exit with the Mutalist. Stork with a couple of Corsairs, uh, and Quanro is just going to choose to fight them in Stork's main, uh, away f out, out of range from those Archons, knowing that those Archons aren't going to be able to get in play. Uh, and he takes the Corsairs out, now taking the Photon Cannon down as well. And Stork being heavily harassed here by those Mutalists, he's been completely caught off guard by that tech switch to Mutalists. He just did not uh, anticipate that at all, and wasn't ready for it. And he was caught uh, at a horrible moment with his Archons out of position. Uh, and really, Stork was caught between a rock and a hard place, needing to put some pressure on Quanro and hurt his economy. Uh, but at the same time, uh, not wanting, obviously not wanting to leave his base undefended. He did have four photon cannons, but Quanro was able to make short work of them with the Mutalist, and Stork's economy has taken a hit as well. He's lost quite a few probes in that attack from Quanro, uh, and Stork is in danger here of going out of the MSL, guys. He really needs to pull it together. He still has a chance, I feel. I don't think he's behind that behind yet that he can't pull it back. He does have that third, that third, uh, second expansion as well, that third Nexus, uh, but he's got a force primarily of Zealots and Archons, which are not very maneuverable, uh, and Quanro is just 
being brilliant here. And Stork Corner now coming in with a group of Hydras as well, keeping Stork busy in his main, distracting him while his Hydras get into position at that 3 o'clock expo. The Photon Cannons go down straight away. Hydras intercepting the Archons. One of the Archons is going to get striped, sniped while Quanro is decimating Stork's probe force. Another Archon gets taken down by the Hydras. He loses two Archons. Quanro decimates Stork's probes uh, and continues to attack them before pulling out with the Mutalist. A brilliant attack by Quanro. And I've got to say, Quanro has exhibited tactical play in this game of the highest caliber, pulling Stork back and forth like a yo-yo on a string, diverting him where he wants him to be and being where Stork is not and doing immense damage the whole time using his forces to maximal advantage. He's really playing the rock, paper, scissors game. He's putting his rock where he, fi where he finds Stork's scissors and forcing Stork's rock to come down and get rolled by his paper. It's just brilliance by, by Quanro, it has to be said. And again, those mutilists continue to harass Stork's main. Uh, and meanwhile, Quanro has built up a sizable force of hireless and lurkers. Uh, Stork with a uh, force consisting primarily of Zealots. He does have a couple of High Templar, uh, but Quanro has really inflicted significant damage to Stork's economy, and Stork uh, just is really str the struggling. Quanro now coming around with the back. He's going to snipe those High Templar as well. One High Templar gets sniped. The second High Templar is forced to waste, waste storms, and it looks like the second High Templar might be sniped as well. Quanro coming in. He does snipe the second High Templar. There's only one High Templar left in Stork's forces, and this is probably... This is probably the nail in Stork's coffin, guys. This is probably the GG moment for me. This is probably the moment where I would say that I think it's going to be nearly impossible. And Stork does something brilliant in this battle and wins with a large number of forces remaining. I don't think he's going to have a chance now. Quanro with the Hive building as well. He's got his expansions well defended. Stork has had that uh, third Nexus up for a while now, uh, but he lost so many probes to that attack that really um, it, it's been negated. The effect of that third Nexus, it, he might as well have been on two bases the entire time. They felt less than that because he's just lost so many probes to Quanro's harassment. And Quanro has just been brilliant in terms of keeping Stork off balance in this game and that is where if Stork has a weakness I feel that is where it lies in his multitasking he's not as strong a multitasker as Bisu which is why of course Bisu is considered I guess by many to be um best Protoss player playing and probably one of the best StarCraft players playing although I'm sure Stork would argue against that. Now Quanro just delivering a massive army. Uh, Stork trying to storm desperately but Quanro's forces are too spread out for him to really be able to inflict significant damage. Now Quanro with lurkers amongst Stork's forces and those zealots are just piecemeal. They're just being ripped to shreds by those lurkers. Those lurker spikes just tearing those zealots to pieces and Stork's force in seconds is whittled to nothing. Uh, and now he's lost the rest of his army as well. So that's going to be GG, folks. Quanro right at Stork's front door. Uh, and Stork just didn't have the ground forces to be able to combat Quanro in the end. Quanro building up advan an advantage gradually and continuing to cement it over time and now delivering the defeat to Stork. Uh, and this is going to be GG, guys. Quanro uh, is... Stork has been quan rolled, I fear. Uh, and he is going to be going crashing out of the MSL. A huge disappointment for Protoss fans uh, and for me as well. Uh, but I'm excited to see another Zerg player progress through to the next round. I, I I always find it exciting when they're lost to Zerg players. Um, as long as they're not too many Zerg vs. Zergs. Obviously, I'm not a huge fan of Zerg vs. Zerg, as you guys well know. Uh, but Quan Ronai just finishing off Stork's National Expo, and there's little to nothing Stork can do. And I feel that that moment where he lost those three High Templar, that was when it was really GG. Uh, because without those, those three High Templar could have made a huge difference against that, that Zerg army in terms of Storms. Uh, but Stork just completely outplayed from start to finish in that game, you feel. He was never really ahead. Um, from the moment Quanro made that tech switch and brought in those that full group of mutilists, Stork just struggled to keep pace. Uh, and you've got to say that Quanro played a good game of StarCraft and adapted better to the situation and Stork just wasn't able to cope and uh, puffing out his cheeks and breathing out uh, and I guess trying not to cry, um, not knowing what hit him, uh, but he has been hit by the steamroller that is the Quan Roller. So um, this is Clazart guys, thanks for listening. Good game of StarCraft by Quanro uh, and he will progress through to the loser's final to face Shine.